piece of World War II history was given a permanent home this week inside a high school in Azel. Jason Allen taking you inside the school where a whole new generation pledges to keep the stories of a generation before them alive forever. When she's not on the runway, on stage, on the track, at the football stadium, in student government, Brooke Shookie has a passion for an infamous day from more than 80 years ago. Just Pearl Harbor, I truly think it was probably that movie that initially broke me in. Watching that 2001 film was an assignment from her dad before a family trip to Hawaii. The subsequent visit to the memorial hooked the then 11 year old for good. Then just being there, imagining it, just did something to that 11 year old me. And then once I started learning more about it, I was just that more drawn to it. She started doing research, school projects, even a birthday party with a Pearl Harbor theme. When I was turning 12, yeah. Did they know the facts? Did people come prepared? Uh, after me talking about it for months, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to meet someone who was there and forged a friendship with survivor Donald Stratton and his family. And she learned from them about a Navy program to distribute pieces of the sunken USS Arizona. I mean, I'm scared to touch it. The oil's on my hands, but I, I, I was able to hold it in my hands and just feel so real. It was a two-year process to get the rusted, tattered section of the ship's superstructure from Hawaii to Texas. And this week at Azel High School. My grandfather's dying wish was that no one would ever forget the USS Arizona. The piece settled in to its new permanent home. For the students who walk past it, Pearl Harbor won't just be a picture in a book or a scene in a movie, but something real that Shooky hopes they will remember. I wasn't aware until I was made aware. And that's just what you got to do. That's what we're, our goal is to educate so that it's never forgotten and they know it for generations to come. In Azel, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. And just so you know, Shooky has started a nonprofit as well. It's called A Hero's Dream to try to continue keeping our veterans' memories alive as well as help when we can, veterans in need. Wonderful causes close to our hearts here.